everyone, it's Chris Voss here from the Chris Voss Show. .com, the Chris Voss Show .com, where we review of the latest and coolest of social media and technology. Uh, be sure to see all of our multiple phone reviews and comparison reviews on YouTube and the Chris Voss Show .com. This here is the Virgin Mobile from Virgin Mobile USA .com. Their Evo V 4G, made by HTC. Now, uh, we did get this from Virgin Mobile's uh, PR department. Sprint does own Virgin Mobile. We've had some people say, why is there a Sprint logo on there? That's how the phone came to us. It came in a Virgin Mobile box, came from Virgin Mobile. We have a Virgin Mobile account it's attached to. A Sprint does own Virgin Mobile, so that's why you see the logo there. And the networks that uh, the cell phones work on runs on Sprint's network. So, that is why that reason is there. Now, we did do an unboxing of the HTC Evo V 4G, uh, this device here uh, on the Chris Voss Show. You can find that on a separate thing. We're updating this because the Android system is updated to 4.03 on the Evo V 4G. And what we're going to do is we're going to give you an updated uh, review here. We're going to show you some benchmarks and much more stuff than we put in the original review. So, let's take a look at this. Now, uh, overall, I've used the phone for a couple months now. I've really, really enjoyed my experience with the phone. Uh, when you really think of pay ahead of time phones, uh, which you ha need to do with Virgin Mobile, where you don't have a two-year plan, you don't uh, get a discounted price, where you basically pay for the phone itself and then you pay a small low fee, usually about 35 bucks a month with Virgin Mobile, you end up saving about $1,000, $1,200 a year, depending upon what kind of other phone you would buy on a comparable service. Uh, and, uh, you know, with the Virgin Mobile service, you, of course, pay for the phone up front. I think this is, at this point in time, 300 bucks. although I've been told uh, there might be some better pricing coming out recently. Um, you'll have to check in with that on the site. But in essence, what we have here is uh, it's a great phone. It fits very easily and well in the hand. Uh, I love it. It's got speed. It's not something you would think of as a prepay phone. Uh, it's definitely a rocking phone, and the great thing is, is it'll make you look great when you go out in public. No one will know you have a prepaid phone or think less of you because of it, and really no one should. I mean, saving money is important in today's economy. So let's talk about the phone in its of itself. Um, and we'll talk about some of my, per, my uh, opinions at the end. Uh, one thing it does, it has the HTC ring pull tab where you can pull it to activate it. And of course, and also one thing you can do to pull it out of standby is to drag something into the uh, ring and that will take and activate the device and pull up the app that you've dragged in. So it has that. It runs on the HTC uh, Sense system, I believe 3.6 is the uh, software it runs on. Let's talk about some of the details when we get into this. Uh, it runs on a 3G, 4G network with uh, with uh, the uh, data and the calling. Uh, you're looking at Android. Originally came out with 4.0. You can now get 4.03 on it. Hopefully it'll keep going up from there. It has a 4.3 touch screen. Uh, it has a 5.0 megapixel cam camera and camcorder. Now one thing it does have that's interesting, it has 3D HD imaging. We'll get into what that means in a second, but it's a lot of fun with this phone. And the phone does have a 1.3 front-facing camera. Let's take a look at some of the other things. You've got a 1.2 gigahertz processor that does really good with processing all the stuff you need to do on, a, uh, on the device. It comes with an, uh, let's see, 8 gigabyte card included that's expandable to 32 mega bytes, or th I'm sorry, 32 gigabytes, um, what it does is your memory is expandable with an SD card that you can put in the back, we'll get to that in a second, and uh, it gives you battery time of 6 hours, uh, standby time of 12 and a half days, on the height it's 4.8 inches, and on the width it's 2.4 inches, uh, depth it's 0.46 inches, and the weight is 5.11 ounces, touchscreen 4.3 ounce touchscreen. And uh, it's got a 1730 milliamp battery, which is pretty good when you really think about it. Most batteries uh, range in that area, so it tends to hold up very well with that. Uh, and uh, let's see, it's on the LCD readout. It's got Super LCD 540 by 960 G, or I'm sorry, QHD resolution, 3D, 3D 
display and uh, comes with four gigabytes of eMMC the RAM's got one gigabyte in it uh, of course it has GPS and all that good stuff in it and like we said the memory is expandable in the back and we'll talk about that here in a second so let's take a look at the device close up so that we can take and see some of the features uh, on the, along the bottom here we have uh, a search menu that can be brought up into search we also have a back button that can take us back in the menu we have a menu button that of course can take us into the menu and we have a home button and as you can see here you can have all the seven different screens you can normally have with Android and be able to add widgets and all that good stuff apps etc etc uh, across the top you can see here that it's got um, as you spin through the uh, as you spin through the widgets and windows and apps it's got an infinite scroll system where you can constantly scroll through it. It's got a great big screen that I really like. It is a little bit thicker than other phones in the HTC lineup right now that are coming out, but it is thinner and uh, in its in its uh, width. And so I feel it feels very comfortably in the hand for me. And I actually really like the phone holding it and working it. Across the top we have a speaker in here. Uh, we also have some indicator lights that let us know charging, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then we have the uh, front-facing camera in the front there. Let's take a look at it from a few other angles. All right, so now on the top of the device, we have an earphone plug, and we have a power button to power on and off the device. Very simple, very easy. It also has a small microphone hole area up here to pick up sound and all that good stuff. Down the left-hand side, we have the charging port to take and plug into the USB and charge the device. So very simple on this side. On the right hand side we have the volume rocker which can go up and down. Uh, it's separated here in the middle and rocks. Uh, it's, e it's not that easy to take and push it which some HCC devices I've have found are too easy to push and actually uh, knock yourself out of different applications by raising the uh, volume. This one works extremely well on the device. Uh, one thing you also have on the bottom here is you have a shutter button for your camera and video. You also have a switch that can donate uh, or donate between uh, 3D and 2D camera mode. So we'll talk about that here in a second. As you can see here in the back, we have two cameras. Now, nothing much to see here on the bottom of the device except a little hole. And what this hole is designed to do is so that you can stick your thumb in there. Let's see if we can't do that and easily pop off the back. Now in popping off the back what you're going to be working with is you can see here we've got the 3D cameras but you've got an area here for your SD plug-in for your SD card. You also can remove this battery if you so choose and that makes it very nice if you want to flip out and exchange batteries on the fly. Um, so you've also got the SD memory here this is where you can upgrade this all the way to 32 gigabytes and be able to have that memory at your disposal. Let's go ahead and put the back on, and it easily snaps right into place for you. Let's take a look at the uh, back itself. Uh, on the back, you can, of course, see it's got the nice logo. It's got a very nice uh, gripping, uh, kind of rubberish, hard plastic uh, feel to it. Uh, on the back, it also has uh, two cameras and two flashes. How about that? You can see the logo here, 3D HD imaging. Now, what this camera will do is you can switch between 3D and 2D camera mode. You can take 3D pictures and 3D video. The great thing about this is we have a lot of fun with this camera and uploading videos to YouTube. And in YouTube, you can upload 3D videos now. You can denote them to be 3D videos, and you can send them to your friends and family, and they can watch them. The other cool thing that we'll show you is the screen is designed where you can watch your 3D videos you take and record without the use of having glasses. So that's very awesome. You can see here it's got a very small speaker on the back. Uh, one of the things that uh, I'm not really excited about with the HTC Evo V 4G, um, it, but it, it, it's powerful enough where you can hear what's going on. One of the issues I have is normally it will be face down, and so uh, the, speak, the speaker sometimes gets a little muffled. Uh, if you can, get a good case for it so they can lift it off of whatever it's sitting on, and it will give you much resonance in the volume. Okay, so now taking more a look into the menu on the HTC Evo V4G, you have here, you can see that you can create several different notification 
buttons that you can easily go into. You've got your notifications down here, settings that you can quickly turn on and off. I really like that because it makes it easy to get in and out of uh, things you may want to change on the fly, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth, all that sort of good stuff. Now, with the Virgin Mobile product, it's really cool. You can essentially uh, get unlimited data, unlimited texting, unlimited uh, uh, calling for $35 right now. Okay. Now, if you want the hotspot, it's an additional 15 bucks. That's very much cheaper than what I'm paying for my service right now for my iPhone. On my iPhone through Verizon, I'm paying probably I don't know, 130 bucks a month, 120 bucks a month. So, in essence, you can save a whole lot of money by buying the Virgin Mobile product. So, let's talk about some other things that we can take and do with the product. We're going to take a look at benchmarking. Okay, so now I'm doing some benchmarking of the processor and CPU, memory, all that good stuff. You can see here that uh, the device falls down here uh, just above the HTC Desire HD. Uh, above the Nexus S and let's see just right below the LG Optimus 2.0 below the Galaxy uh, Nexus etc etc and the HTC One X being here at the top now we do have an HTC One X we've tested it against the HTC One X I gotta tell you in real life use of the phone you don't notice that much speed difference between the uh, two devices I like both devices in fact I really like this one for the uh, 3D effect that you can take and get out of it. And it feels very comfortable, it's easy to take and utilize. Um, and uh, so you can see some benchmarking here, benchmarking here and how that performs. In taking a look at other benchmarking scoring, you can see how the uh, Evo V 4G holds up. You can see it gets a score of 3549. Uh, total score, CPUs 1259, RAM 604, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. gets about three stars in rating in comparison to other comparable Android phones. Now, when it comes to color, it's got a good color to it. It's a little bit darker than some of the other Android phones that are newer that we've seen come out, but it does hold its own at, at being a very great phone for color, playing games, having a great screen, watching videos, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you can see here it's got great hues, great grainy color, and uh, everything else for bringing out and popping what you want to have uh, taken display on your phone. Now this is using HTC Sense 3.6 software. So uh, the widgets app different setup for personalization on your phone is a little bit different than what you'd normally find. Uh, you can see here there's a different way of browsing widgets than you would find on some of the newer HTC Sense applications. Uh, especially going through and finding different things. They've got a whole different presentation in some of the updates of their software. Uh, but this is how you normally would update your uh, widgets, and et cetera, et cetera. You have a full customization, of course, you can do with most of your normal Android phones. And uh, one thing that is different than we find some of the other Android phones, the paging system for the apps goes up and down as opposed to left to right or right to left. So that is one thing that's always different. I find myself going like this all the time. But uh, it still works. You know, there's no problems with it. You've got a frequency button. You've got a download button. You've got a Virgin Mobile button for Virgin Mobile apps that you can easily do. I do love the frequency button because it's easy to get in and out and two apps that you want to take and utilize most often. Now, one thing that's really great about the phone is it does work with Hulu Plus and Netflix, which is our favorite things to be able to take and watch apps on uh, or watch videos and TV and stuff on so it works really great that way um, where you can see whatever it is you want to take and watch on those networks We're very happy about that okay so let's take a look at the camera uh, the camera is really cool especially with the effects that where we can utilize uh, 3D and 2D just by switching the button there and of course you've got the shutter button here that you can take and utilize the also, uh, with effects, you've got effects up here in the left-hand corner. You can spin through several different effects that you can create on the fly with your photographs. Um, over here, we've got a mode where you can switch between photo and video. You can also switch between the front and back cameras. Uh, scenes you've got here where you can go in and design different scenes that you want to shoot with, whiteboard, close-up, low light, portrait, etc., etc., uh, you've also got your ability to control your flash there. You've also got settings here. You can control several different things. You can control uh, all the different things you can do on, uh, uh, on a uh, 
high-end uh, camera. Uh, you can control your white balance ISO. You can even control the resolution. This makes it really nice if you want to downgrade your resolution to be able to send video or photos to people that you don't want to bulk up their email with. Let's take a look back into that. Self-timer, image adjustments, resolution, review duration, widescreen you can choose from geotagging photos, autofocus, all the things you would normally find with the Android product. Uh, so very easy to access and get into. You also have your zoom modes where you can easily uh, zoom in and out. Uh, Menu-wise, you've got the menu you can hit here with the menu button and pull up the same thing that you can pull up with settings depending upon how you want to access it. Now photographs with the HTC um, Evo V4G uh, are done very well. This is a photograph that's in a low light situation where we're using a flash. Um, it doesn't perform quite as well in low light situations with a flash, but it definitely holds its own. It's not the greatest phone for low light situations, but we don't find that it's, it's too bad at all. Uh, it is nice that in 3G mode it has two flashes, so that can help you out a bit. Um, but we tend to find that the colors come out in the real color, if not a little bit darker Hello, than what Sam. they. This is Seth Howard Houston. Seth, do you like being on video? Are you a happy dog? You like being on video, huh? As you can see, there's one of our star performers. But uh, video picks up color very well. Uh, this great, great sharpness and contrast. Um, it also displays the accurate color of. Um, of what you are viewing. There's some HTC phones that we've noticed that they've actually jacked up the uh, yellow, blues, and, and uh, greens uh, and they've artificially kind of uh, put them to a point where you don't get the video of what the real colors are that are in your viewing screen. Here's a photograph of course of the dog. You can see it takes really beautiful photographs. Very well done. Uh, this is something that I of course save of my dog. Uh, really good photographs from hopefully what you see here. Uh, this is another example from our comparison videos of uh, comparing how the HTC Evo V 4G takes good pictures that are comparable to the actual color of the environment whereas uh, we were comparing this to some other phones that uh, didn't uh, take and do that where they were uh, artificially uh, adjusted. Now let's take a look at some 3D videos. Uh, this is a 3D video. I'm not sure how we're going to see this, but basically by tilting the screen, you can actually get your eye correctly to see the 3D portions of this video. And sometimes it's just a matter of turning it a little bit. But it's very cool in where you can actually see 3D videos that you take and create and make um, without without having to uh, have the 3D glasses. So I really like the device. It's fun to make the pictures in 3G, upload them to YouTube, activate the, uh, on YouTube you can activate the 3G settings on uh, YouTube and uh, it'll play in 3G. Uh, of course you would need glasses to see it on 3G. We ordered some from Amazon.com for I think three bucks. Had a lot of fun doing it. In fact we started watching 3G movies a whole lot more and of course you can watch the 3G movies on your device also from YouTube depending upon the setups that they have on YouTube there's a few different ways it's configured so that's a lot of fun in fact we had fun sending videos to my nieces and nephews uh, in other states uh, YouTube uh, 3D videos using the device to record 3D video and uh, they had a lot of fun watching it with their 3D glasses so now another feature that's uh, common with the Androids is in the phone menu you can take and do most of the normal things you could with uh, your phone settings, phone, people, contacts, uh, which of course that would, that would be uh, groups that you may have, call history. And uh, in that you also of course have your menu where you can uh, hook up different speed dial, you can have different settings to where you want to take and set things up, you can also uh, block calls, uh, tips that you might want to take and Let's see, these are going to be tips on how to dial. Uh, and then, of course, you've got edit tabs. If you want to edit tabs, you can take and do some customization there. And as always, you've got the customization of the Android phone. So, we really love the product. Uh, it, it feels like a good, strong phone, and it will take drops and hits probably much better than some of the cheaper, thinner phones that are out there in the Android line. Uh, it feels like a very solid phone. We really like it. It looks great. 
Um, it doesn't act or seem like a cheap prepaid phone. It's definitely a very beautiful Android device. And I'd highly recommend you get one if uh, Virgin Mobile's in the market for you as the type of uh, commitment that you want to take and make or lack of commitment you want to take and make. The beautiful thing with uh, Virgin Mobile is you don't have to sign it to your contract. You can buy the phone, use it, do whatever you want with it. Um, and you only pay month to month a, a small fee which is very inexpensive so uh, those features are very awesome and the great thing is you can have a killer Android phone without having to pay all those big bucks to some of the other services that are out there and long-term commitment and if you look on the virginmobileusa.com website you can actually see they have some different graphs on there where you can save up to uh, you know, a thousand, eleven hundred bucks, depending upon you know what other phone you would comparably buy on the other services. So be sure to check those out. We're very impressed with them. We've actually tested out a few different products from Virgin Mobile USA, and uh, the Virgin Mobile Hotspot, for instance, one you can find us reviewing, and it's on the ChrisVosShow.com. Look for us to review other great products from Virgin Mobile, and hopefully from Sprint here coming soon. And uh, be sure to check them out. Uh, Chris Voss tested, Chris Voss approved. Really like this phone, very impressed with it. Um, be sure to check it out, pick one up for yourself if you're in the market for one, and tell them Chris Voss sent you. Thanks for coming by.